All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, we're down here on the west side of the Indian River, and we're going to be fishing a new area. We've got Noah right here, and he's a uh, fan of the channel. He's going to be helping me uh, get on, like, somewhat of a secret spot. Yeah. Okay, so his secret spot, or a spot that not a whole lot of people know about or have access to. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, um, pretty much just game to catch anything. So let's get it done, see what we can find. All right, so we already went to a couple spots. Didn't uh, catch any fish, saw a little bit of activity. All right, well, this is a little sketchy, but it might be what we gotta do to catch some fish. You hooked up? Get out. Oh, bluefish, big blue. All right, we're gonna take off the live target because. <laughs> oh, broke me off. Oh, he caught you. All right, so there's definitely a blue. Well, let me see the knot. Did, it, did he cut it or did he slip? No, he slipped. He, it was a loop knot. So oh, he, just cut he, he cut it. Yeah. All right, well, Noah took two casts of the little DOA cow. I've taken about like 30 casts of this live target without a bite, so we're switching <laughs> to something else. Yeah, all I'm doing is bouncing off the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try this spook real quick first if there's bluefish. Maybe get one to blow up on it on top. Oh. Yep. Whoa, there's something big. You see that? That was tarpon. Yeah, it was a tarpon rolling shit. Yeah, tarpon, one of the big bull sharks. <laughs> for let's say a hundred dollars, we swim across the other side. Yeah. For a hundred bucks, really? Yeah. With bull sharks swimming around, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, they're probably looking to eat fish anyway, right? Yeah. All right. Well, if you like dipped your legs in like some bluefish blood and swim across, would you? No. <laughs> probably not. Heck or like bunker oil. Heck no. <laughs> You just look like a swimming stream of <laughs> fish Dude, guys. Be, you know how many sharks they have on me, especially here? They'd be tailing you. Oh, that, yeah. that, that'd be something scary. <laughs> I've had a big, uh, like at night, in the, while kayak fishing in the ocean, at night off Montauk, I've had like thresher sharks jump like through pods of bunker right in front of me. So like, I'm just kayaking, right? It's pitch black out, I'm on my way in. All of a sudden the water starts boiling below me, like bunker coming to the surface. And then this thresher shark just porpoises like 10 feet, 10 yards off uh, like the bow of the kayak. I was like, holy shit. Since that happened, like every single time I'm releasing a fish next to the kayak, like reviving it, I'm thinking something's gonna come up and grab it. Oh my gosh. Last year, we're, we're getting more and more sharks now because like they found out that Montauk is like the nursery now for like baby great white sharks. Like that's where like the big ones drop their, their young off. And then the big ones go up. Oh my gosh, just got blown up on by, it almost looked like a Goliath. Really? Yeah, like at the tail of it looked like a Goliath. No joke. Keep throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. I'm gonna definitely keep throwing it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was a giant explosion. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> there's some fish here. Noah just saw like a 30 inch snook. I had a pretty sizable, mysterious blow up. We're gonna keep fishing it. I'll take a few more casts of this top water and then, oh, oh, that, you, oh, you're hooked up now. Noah is hooked up. <laughs> That's, a, that's either going to be a jack or a blue. Nice. Oh, big blow up, big blow up. I don't know what it was. Did you see that? Oh my God. So much white water just from that one explosion. It's so funny, I, he like, well, oh God, nope, no, no, no! The pelican ate the freaking spook, no. Hey, when, you, when you get him in, I'll grab him. You gonna try chopping me? 
Jeez. He's gonna close his mouth. I got oh, no, the pliers. Frick. Oh, you dropped the pliers? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it out of his mouth, though. Gosh, Here, I'll, you wanna grab it? Yeah. I got it. Frick. That's all right. They're old pliers. All right, so the line is underneath. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah, you can let go. There you go, buddy. All right, guys. Well, that spot uh, was pretty active. <laughs> Pelican, I had uh, like four or five bites on the spook. We got a couple ladyfish and a jack. Yeah, lady and and uh, we saw a couple spinner sharks out there, which was pretty cool. And Noah was trying to just snag a mullet for a sec, you know, because it'd be sweet to like throw that out there and uh, hook into a shark. But uh, now we're going down to the next spot, and it's going to be like a similar scenario. Yeah. Kind of being doing the same thing. So hopefully we can get a few more bites and uh, not catch a pelican for myself and uh, catch some snook or something, trout, or uh, possibly that first blow up I had was a goliath, a small one, so that would be pretty cool. All right, well, we're gonna try throwing the top water for a little bit longer here in this spot now. You know, we did have a lot of bites on it, but we just, oh gosh, another pelican. Nope, get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a fish to bite it here and not a bird. Oh! Oh, he came off! Did you see that? That was it. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, like I just had another ca uh, hit. Smaller though. Not as big as that first one. Oh, swirled on, swirled. Just got a big swirl. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. There he is, got him. Oh, yes. Maybe that's how they wanted it. They wanted it really fast. <laughs> that was cool. So cool. All right, well, there you have it, folks. First fish of the outing, nothing crazy, but uh, we finally got one of those mysterious fish that were blowing up on this spook. Now we just gotta get this hook out. And there it goes, getting back on his way. Oh, there he is, <laughs> oh yes. They're eating it now, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slightly bigger. We're on the meat. Catching them good now. If you came over here, we could probably double up. You want to come over here? All right, see where my bait landed? Cast out there, I bet we can like try and get a double up. Like we'll work them like right next to each other, see which bait gets bit. All right, that was like perfect. <laughs> it's like a school of top water oh. spooks. <laughs> Did I just see that? <laughs> that was epic, we switched sides, switch sides. <laughs> so that was so cool. <laughs> Imagine if you got blown up on too. <laughs> That was insane. That's going to be a bigger one. You think? <laughs> that was what was blowing up on it before, but just I didn't connect. Finally. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if he just came up and ate both of them. Because <laughs> that's how fast they were moving. That was a good blow up. Oh, now this one's got some weight to it. Yeah. Oh God, no, no. Talk about a workout. <laughs> Woo. Oh, this is a heavy one. Woo. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, yeah. That's a, good, that's a better one. <laughs> All I can do right now is just smile. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I lost my hat, too. Oh. All right, well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Dang it. Uh, we're gonna have to keep at it, though. <laughs> I'm not sweating right now from that fish. My hat fell in the water. And uh, yeah, I put it right back in my head because I don't want to lose this like my favorite hat. But uh, that was an absolute epic battle. Whew. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you see that Ooh. swirl? Oh my god. I've... Fish on. Big fish. Looked big. This I've is fighting been... differently too. Different? Feels different. Is no, not really. Watch it looked like a redfish, actually. It looked like a redfish. <laughs> False alarm, it's a jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks so different when it first hit. Like, I wouldn't do what I just did with a blue fish. Heck no. Like, snook mouths are thin. They spit the hook really easily. Yeah. Yeah, once you penetrate the hook into like a striper's mouth, like it's staying in. Either the line's gonna break or they'll straighten the hooks. There's one. Fish on. These are all good size jacks. Yeah, they're pretty good, like nice size mediums. I can't believe you lost that one. <laughs> that was a big one. Well, if there's one, hopefully it'll be more. Oh, definitely. I mean, because I over at the first spot or the other spot, like I had at least like four blow-ups that were like big blow-ups, not like they these small ones. Small either. Mm -mm. All right, let's see if anything's here. Noah just saw like a 26-inch snook sitting under the mangroves here, but didn't eat. I'm gonna take a few more casts of this here, see if we get any bites right away. If we don't. I kind of want to throw like a soft plastic of some sort because then we'll have a shot at catching some snook or reds or trout maybe. Ooh, that's a big fish. Oh, cool. Get him. Oh, Holy that's a I saw that. That was insane. Dude, that's a giant fish. Giant jack? That's a giant fish. He's right here. I don't want to. I, I got 30 on. I don't know what it is. Big jack. Oh yeah, that's a good jack. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, that is a big, beautiful brew, bro. Heck yeah. Nice. That was a giant. That was a sick test. Oh, lady. Ladyfish? All right, well, I gotta take this top holder off because it's not working anymore. I'm thinking of maybe throwing on a fishaholic finback shad. That should do. All right, let's try deeper in the water column, let it sink all the way down to the bottom and fish it back. Noah's getting a ton of bites on a little voodoo shrimp, small like soft plastic. Are you working along the bottom? Or yeah, like working it right along the bottom. So I think these fish are like changing what they're doing. Like they were feeding on top and now they're more bo bottom oriented now. So maybe they'll hit the shad. I did feel like a jack was kind of more of like a... <laughs> First cast. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the smallest of the small. Um, if we go like offshore for tuna, it could range anywhere from 1500 to uh, 3,000. How many go around the boat that you work for? This is something different here. Um, it's just me and uh, the owner. Something different? It's probably a jack, but it feels like a little bit feisty or maybe just a little bit larger one. The blue runner. 
<laughs> it's a really dark blue runner, right? Gosh, Look man. how dark that thing is. Why are they so big in here? That is my biggest blue runner. That is sweet. And uh, so dark. I didn't know they got this dark, but I guess they change color like when they're, you know, versus being in the ocean or in like a backwater area. It's pretty sweet. Ouch. That is awesome. All right, well, that was about it for that outing. Huge shout out to Noah for taking me to his spot and putting me on some fish. And uh, Noah and I actually fished in the dark, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any more bites. Noah, though, did catch a small black drum, which was really cool, and he did lose a decent sized snook. And actually, after that outing, I drove through the night and ended up now down here in Boca Raton, where I'm visiting my other buddy who I actually went to high school with and also college. And uh, last like, couple days I've been fishing. Today I actually went after some peacocks and a mysterious invasive species that I've been wanting to actually catch for quite some time that you can catch down here in South Florida. So uh, be sure to subscribe so you can know when I upload that video and know what I catch. And be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed. And I think from here on out, being that uh, spring is right around the corner, I think uh, I'm, I might head south before heading north because I wanted to do this last year, but I didn't have the opportunity to do so. So I'm thinking of going to the Keys before rounding things up and then heading north back to Jersey and Montauk. So um, yeah, I, I'm still kind of trying to put the dots together, but if I do do it, like hopefully it'll work out and be pretty cool. So thanks again for watching and like always, live to fish fish to live.